Uh, today we're actually going to do some of the basic kicks and the basic knee. Okay, we'll start with the knee, which is called Yat Kao. Okay, Yat Kao. We'll start from the Takru. And today we'll just, with Yat Kao, we can only do the back knee. Yat Kao front knee, there's no point, we don't get much power. So it's always coming from the back leg. So, hop. So if we're watching from the side, we'll see the important mechanism here. So, yep, cow, pam. Yep, cow, pam. Bapdua. So, the important mechanism is rocking the body back. By rocking the body back, we shift the hips forward, and instead of it being a straight upwards knee, it's coming forward and it's penetrating forward. You'll see this in modern Muay Thai, a lot of Muay Thai guys do it, a lot of martial arts do it. Um, you'll see it's the same idea as grabbing the head, grabbing the front of the neck and pun uh, punching through with the knee. It's exactly the same thing, we try and do this all the time in the knee for Muay Thai. Again, if you've covered the tag crew, the yang sam kung, this should be fairly straightforward. The important details are checking the feet. With all the kicking moves from Moi Chaya, make sure that you go back to the tag crew. So this is why practicing the yang sam kung is very important, because it will help you get the right feeling for the footwork. If you start stepping wrong, you'll find that your balance is off. And then doing two knees in a row, or doing a knee, a kick, a turning kick, your balance will start shifting and you'll find it very hard to do some of the other movements. So always come back to the correct stance in the tag crew. Okay, now we're going to do the basic front kick, which is called chat. Um, again, very simple. Remember the body movement we just explained in the yep cow. So we're going to move the body back, shift the hips forward. This is very important in Moi, because in Moi Chaya we will try and use the weight of the body to facilitate strength, force and power. So as long as your technique is right, it's fast, we're already including the body weight in the movement, it's going to be powerful. Okay? So, Chakalang. Chakalang. Okay, so you don't have to kick high. This can be a body shot, this can be a leg shot. So, obviously, hop's good, you can kick high with this kick. Remember, you've got to get the body rocking back to get the full force out of this. So, a lot on the heavy bags you'll really start getting a feeling for this movement and really working on the bags with this is very important so you can get this feeling of getting the weight from your body out through your legs out through your feet very very important so that was chat now we're now going to go on to Rien Keng which is the Muay Chai out turning kick now you've probably seen this in other videos um, and it's quite a tricky move to learn. It's even harder to master, but it's worthwhile because there's a lot of benefits from doing this kick. Okay. We'll start from the side position here. Okay, so I'll get up to do it a few times first so you can see it and then we'll, start, we'll break it down and explain it. Okay, we can have We can have Wow. 
แข้งครับโอเค so you see the movement now there's a lot of things which look strange and feel very strange in this kick if you've done other martial arts and you're used to keeping the body more vertical using the leg in the kick maybe adding the snap or using the arm or keeping the arm up here this is a very difficult kick to master because you've got to rewire a lot of your mechanisms that you've already got if you're starting a fresh and more out, you've actually got an advantage with this move because you haven't got any of these habits already in ground one of the simple ways to get over the habit of this arm staying up um, in front of you either for blocking or for extra weight so like this or or just guarding so just guarding like that wait back the simple mechanism we're going to use is padma so if you've practiced uh, just the basic takru with padma the exercises padma prickliam and also the yang sam Kung. You should have this movement already. You should understand it already. You should be able to do it very easily. We're going to use this to help us do the, uh, the turning kick properly. Now I'm starting to explain it from here because it's the easiest way to explain how the body movement works with this move. So, on the tag crew, so I'm going to kick with the back leg. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the pan mat. When I'm doing the pan mat, I'm actually pushing off from my back foot at the same time from the ball of the foot. So we're initiating, we're initiating the kick and the turn at the same time. Now, this pan mud is important because if I follow it around like this, my body will take the right angle, the right, the right pendulum motion to actually do the kick properly. So I'm going to do it slowly. It's up and around and then back. The other side. So following the pan up, up, around, down. Okay. So we can come. Okay. okay. So the details here. You notice now that Ob is now facing all the way back. Look for a spot behind you and look at that. That will help you balance. Try and get your body and your leg as flat as possible. You can extend the leg out or you can keep it cocked back. Try and keep this shin like this, okay? Try not to make it go vertical, okay? Try and make it more horizontal. Remember, keep the foot cocked up and the toes cocked up, okay? Yeah, down, wang. during the kick because we're moving the head backwards, we're using the momentum from the body going back in case something becomes an attack at the same time. So this is part of it is to get the movement correct but it's also keeping our head protected at all times. Okay? This is quite handy. Wow. Sorry. This is quite useful if you're training with friends and you're in quite a close space. Um, I've had some times when we've been training, we've all been doing the wing can at the same time. I've gone around and the person behind me is kicked and he actually would have kicked me in the head, would have kicked me in the face but luckily the guard is there so this is another detail which is very important okay, so we try and keep the guard up at all times when we practice it, we practice it in two ways we're just going to do the kick and then return straight away or we'll do the kick and then we'll count to ten and then come back 